safe conversations beyond the training room. This series, I am starting to share some of the interesting insights which we had in our various skilled agile training. My purpose is also to have a repository of these conversations so that I can refer them back and also probably can suggest these conversations to some of my client. But in the process of it, I think we can also get feedback from the community about their take on these conversations. So let's engage and share your insight as well as a response to these episodes. Episode number one, customer centricity, a collective mission. The story is coming from my recent training, which I was running for a corporate. It was a safe for teams class training. There were around 30 plus individuals. We were talking and discussing how safe works and how agile team operates as a part of bigger community, as a part of bigger family, when they operate in a scaled agile framework. Now, while doing this conversation, we reached to the section where we spoke about the responsibilities of agile team. And there was one prominent responsibility coming out, connecting with the customer. Now here, one developer shared, you know, looks like this should be the responsibility of the product owner, because as a developer, I work with the product owner, whatever user stories comes, we code them, we test them, and overall getting the right requirement should be on the product owner, understanding the customer need should be on the product owner, because my job is to just code whatever is there in the user story. So I thanked him to bring a courageous and interesting conversation on the, on the floor. And then I engaged with other participants and asked, what is their opinion about it? We had an interesting conversation. And finally, we agreed to that it is a good idea to have connect with customer for each and every team member of an agile team, including the developer. Now, what are the benefits? As a team conversation, we spoke about it help us in understanding the real need of the customer. Because we might be seeing some user story which may talk about a value or a purpose, but in the absence of having an insight about the user persona, the way they operate in the environment they work in, probably we won't be able to connect with the customer needs well. And if you connect with the customer need well, we can visualize that and code it in a better manner when we are doing our development work. It also helps us in discussing the requirements in a better depth. The another interesting insight we got during this conversation is if we have an understanding of the customer we can speak stakeholders language because we can negotiate with them in a better manner because we can understand what is the story behind the requirement rather than just focusing on the coding so it creates an ability to communicate ability to create better connect and trust with the stakeholder and ability to negotiate better with the stakeholders because you understand what they are speaking and they also appreciate you understand their pains and concern and they might be more willing to listen to you. Now, majority of time, you may be still connecting with your product owner. You might be doing backlog refinement session. You might be engaging with that product owner and in, in, in getting the user story accepted. It also helps you there. You can challenge your product owner about various requirements. If your product owner is thinking about a very complex requirement and you have an understanding and you believe this is not probably will bring the value to the end customer, you can challenge that and you, your ability to challenge will improve because you connect with the customer well. So overall, a child team member better to have an understanding of what is your customer, what is their persona and how they are going to use this particular application. Now, while reflecting on this particular question, I also happen to remember one of my experience where we had a team which was working on their coding and testing uh, uh, tasks alone. And when we asked them the overall flow, people were clueless. We used to find very difficult an individual to give a customer demos because some of the test, test team members were only able to demonstrate it. Development team members were too much isolated for their part of work. And we were facing many difficulties. People were not finishing their work. They were limiting their understanding. A lot of amount of time was going into coordination and explaining them the requirements because they only wanted to know their piece of the requirement. Now, over a period of time, we decided to engage these people in more customer activities. We started engaging them for customer demos. We started putting these people in the field support work. And we saw the people who were engaged in providing customer demos, they were explaining the customer perspective more to the remaining team members. And more engagement was coming and that resulted into a better quality of our product. 
one thing was the motivation was very high. I don't have to convince them to finish the work because they, they were directly in touch with the customer and they were getting what the kind of problems customer might be facing because of the difficulty in the software. So it helped us and it was a good lesson that we should not be isolating our team members from the customers rather than we should be promoting and making them connect so that they can engage and produce the better result. Now, if I just focus on, oh, maybe I want to go for an interview. Think about most of the interviewers will ask you about your project and they will ask you how your project has helped your customer or the company for which you have developed the work. So if you don't have a better understanding of your customers, you probably will face a difficulty in also putting your experience in an effective manner to in front of someone who is interviewing you. You are a developer or you are a tester or you are a scrum master, whatever role you are playing, you need to demonstrate the work which you have done with your clients. And if you speak client's language, if you understand their problem, the effectiveness of presentation will be significantly high. So I personally believe it is always good to understand the customer for your current job. It is also shows a good amount of professional commitment in your work because if the interviewer asks you about your customer and the product details and you are not finding the right way to express it, the person makes sense that you were not engaged in your deliveries. You were just doing what you have been told. So it's good for doing your current work. It is good for getting the future job. It is good for making relationship. It is good for creating trust inside your team as well as with the stakeholders. So go for it, understand your user persona, learn your whole user journey, see what are the struggles your users are having in that particular user journey and understand how your product and solution is making your customer life better. Now, if you have some interesting idea or maybe you want to document what we are discussing, what I have shared in this particular uh, uh, series, please put your comment here. Uh, you can share your stories and your benefits and the challenges which you faced in order in, in, in the process of creating customer centricity mindset in your development teams or in any role which you are working with.